Like it. Cochin, known as Cochin. It's a beautiful town and it's very beautiful not because of that I was born here. It's really beautiful with its history, culture, a harmonious uh, relationship between religions. And the present Kochi, which we call Cochin, which was not here till 1341. There was no Cochin as we see it now before 1341. And the most famous place before 1341, before the flood which we had in the entire coast, and the port which is about 75 kilometers away from Cochin, where I am standing now, which is called Muzuris. Not that easy. So we locally call it Kodungalur, where we had all the traders. Not only traders, but it's also all the religions uh, in India, which came first to Mussoorie. And uh, the interesting thing about the Mussoorie, which was very famous for the spice trade, which dates really back even before the modern religions. There are people those who even believe that while they mummified the bodies in Egypt, they use the spices like pepper from here. But still to be proved anyway, it is a beautiful place. I'm talking about Muzuris now, which is about 80, 75 kilometers away from Cochin, where I'm standing now. And uh, it was to this place, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, which came first to the southwestern coast, maybe to India. We had Christianity. It is believed to be, believed to arrive here in 
50 to 80 even if there is no objective evidence and the objective evidence for Christianity in India which date, dates back to 9th and 8th century AD and Judaism still very controversial because we need to have a much more research about the anthropological aspect linguistic aspect only then we will be able to find the real uh, racial and anthropological origin of Judaism but we can easily conclude that there must be a Jewish community a minimum before 400 years before Christianity and 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 all the religions while they came over to this part our rulers or the local uh, rulers we had up to 16 uh, small kingdoms in Kerala when it was in its peak time almost all the rulers here they were very tolerant about accepting all religions whenever the Jewish people went to other part of the world they had persecution but here in this part with the help of the local Hindu rulers the Christianity Judaism and Islam flourished here now I would like to take your attention back to where I am standing which I mentioned you already which is the Fort Cochin area now I am standing and this way which will take us to an area called Jewish town or the the place where the Jewish people community came while they had a little trouble not from us from some other religions or some other cultures while they had troubles in uh, Missouri's they had to migrate here I'm talking about the white Jewish community those who live in an area called Jewish town and where we have a synagogue and close to the synagogue we have another beautiful monument which is actually very very uh, interesting about the uh, mural paintings and which is very much interesting with the eclectic nature of its architecture Portuguese, Dutch and English and the local style of architecture and here Aranakulam and the new town has an old area which is called Jew Street but when I say Jew Street or Jew Town there is nothing wrong in using the word Jew here but when we, when we say Jew which means Jewish there's nothing and uh, and the community they live is called the Malabari Jews they are believed to be the oldest Jewish community in this part of the world and the history is still exact time is still to be researched but I'm sure the community there must be older than the white Jewish community those who came here very long ago white Jewish community came only in between between 13 and 14 centuries 13 and sorry 13 and 15 centuries out from Spain Palestine and Portugal they were coming out from religious inquisition and the only living synagogue old part of Cochin called Matancheri where we still have a living synagogue but we do not have a minyan minyan is a minimum uh, people they need to do a, a complete prayer which we do not have but once when they have tourists those are Jewish or the Jewish community from the new part of Cochin comes they will have a full prayer otherwise they just come there pray and leave Dutch Palace 
even if the palace is called Dutch palace which was originally built by the Portuguese in 1555 later in 1665 when they made some renovations this was later tamed uh, came to came to known as, came to be known as the Dutch palace which is really a beautiful mix of Indian and European styles of architecture uh, where you will come across beautiful murals from Hindu epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata. St. Francis Church, the oldest European church in India, dates back to 1503.